It's a dead wood day. It's a dead wood day. The dead wood day. Oh, the dead wood day is rolling on over the plain. With the curtain flapping and the driver snapping the rain. Hi. And welcome to my continuation of my theory where I talk about underrated movie for this whole month. Okay? So, movie that I talk about for this month, I believe, in my opinion, is underrated. Movie that I feel that cannot get the hate from the, the critic or cannot get the hate from the fan or the audience or maybe the movie um, don't get to talk about that much and I feel that uh, maybe uh, it should get more recognition, more people should, should talk about the movie and every time I watch, watch the, the movie that I'm talking about I'm like, I can enjoy it, I don't, I don't get the hate from, you know, some of the, some of the, like, the critics or the audience or the fans and I wish more people would talk about it, okay? And I actually enjoy it. Uh, some of the movies I'm talking about that I could still underrated might not be some of my favorite movies of all time, might not be a masterpiece, but uh, I do could still underrated. And uh, if whenever I do watch these movies from beginning to end, I do get entertainment out of them and I do enjoy them, okay? So, uh, with that being said, let me know uh, in the comment section down below. Uh, what, what, what are, um, your list, some movies that you feel are underrated, okay, that you, that you enjoy, that you, that you, that you don't think should get the hate from the critic, the fans, the audience, or, or that you enjoy every time you watch it, and that you think more people should talk about the movie, okay, and if you to my channel, hit the like button, subscribe, and today we'll be talking about Clammy and Jane, 1953. Okay. So, um, oh boy. Um, now I'm, I got two or three reasons why after this movie, movie is underrated. Okay. Uh, the first off, you probably want to know. Do I, do I like this movie? Yes, because it's one of my favorite movies of all time. I grew up with this movie. Uh, when I was a little kid, when I was a little kid, uh, all I want to watch in my childhood, my little kid, uh, John Wayne movie, George Day movie, and Jane Bond. That's it. Okay? And the fourth one will probably be Indiana Jones. Okay? That's all I want to watch. John Wayne movie, George Day movie, uh, Jane Bond, and Indiana Jones. Okay? Um, yeah, so I was a big John Wayne fan in my childhood, and still am, and a big fan of George Day in my childhood, and still am, okay? Uh, and, uh, I would take George Day, um, over any of the new actress today, uh, I know she died a couple years ago. Rest in peace, Dorte. Um, and, um, um, now, um, I'm not saying, I'm not saying I did the movie underrated because it was my favorite movie of all time. I grew up with it, have a lot of nostalgia for it in my childhood. No. Um, I have reason. One is because, one reason is because, um, uh, when people talk about Dorte, Mo Dorte movie, uh, it's not, it's not one of the first one they talk about. Uh, it gets shot, uh, it gets shadowed by some, some of her other one, like Pillow Talk, okay? Dorte, oh yeah, uh, she played with that gay guy, you know, Rock Cut there, the Pillow Talk. Okay, I, I, I've been hearing that my whole life. Uh, pillow talk, pillow talk, don't they? And then, uh, uh, the man who knew too much. Uh, that's the one which she think, uh, that's the one which she think, uh, Cake the lot, the lot, whatever it will be. I'm like, yeah, I like the movie. 
and the dog will probably tell about if I did, if I did uh, like my top five or top ten or whatever list uh, of my favorite dog day movie of all time, that they will probably be in there. But uh, but you know people people always talk about those dog day movies before they talk about Clammy Jane. That's one of the reasons why I feel uh, Clammy Jane is underrated. Okay. Um, and, um, another reason is, um, let me see here if I can pull it up. Oh, uh, and another reason, uh, I heard, I heard, uh, I didn't hear that until, um, I didn't hear that until I got older. Uh, from the credit system, and I think some of the credit system was, um, she didn't look like, uh, uh, she didn't look like, uh, Clammy Jane, the real person, the real life, uh, uh, they don't, they, they don't, uh, you know, do some of the things that resemble what she did in real life, okay, um, so that's some of the credit system, but I don't know if it's true or not, but that's why I, I, I read part of it, okay, some of the website, some of the commentary, comment section, okay. Um, some people say, oh, the dead word, the dead, the dead, uh, no, uh, uh, the dead word, uh, theory, came, I think came out like 2004, they had three seasons, some say that is better than this. That's another reason why I think this is overrated, and then, you know, they don't have three seasons, then they didn't, they didn't, um, they didn't had uh, a movie in 2019, I think. So, those are the reason why I think it's underrated, okay? Like I said, okay, people always talk about Pill Talk or The Man in Who Knew Too Much more than they talk about Clemmy Jane. Then they criticize Dorothe, who don't look like uh, um, a Clemmy Jane, the real person in real life. Uh, in the movie, they don't, they don't, um, uh, they don't do some of the things that, uh, um, uh, that, that Clammy Chain does in, in real life, in the movie, you know, like, you know, you know like a biopic movie or something, uh, and, and, and then I said that, um, uh, People, some people might say that Deadwood Day, the movie, and the TV show is better. Or, or, or I can go, go further and say that even the Deadwood Day TV show might overshadow this. Because, uh, m more people probably, probably talk about that show. Because that, uh, stands that it's probably made for adults. And it got a Kennedy Gang in it. And I would probably say that this one probably is life harder than that one. Okay. Um, Clammy James got 73% on Rotten Tomatoes. The audience gave it 87. So let's see what, let's see what, um, uh, what some of the, what some of the, uh, the critics said and some of the audience said. And a pistol packing cowgirl in freaking leather trunk. They it trip it and object and electric are an impressionable girl cheer. Hey, Dorte worked very, very hard at being claiming and it hardly relicted at all. They Okay, that's one of the criticism. They say that uh, Dorte don't win demo uh Clammy Jane at all. Um Okay. Um And um Okay. Um did did that uh, it's a musical western 
Um, and um, now, um, I'm here to tell you, uh, this is one of my favorite Western movies of all time. This is one of my favorite musicals of all time. And, uh, I only buy Blu-ray, a movie that is my, like, my favorite movie of all time. So, 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 it, 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 if I do buy Blu-ray, and stop buying Blu-ray, I only buy a few Blu-ray of, of, of the movie that my favorite movie of all time. And I think Clemmy Jane, Clemmy Jane, um, it's a, it's the first Blu-ray I bought, I mean, the first movie I bought on Blu-ray, okay? If I, if I could talk straight. Um, uh, but I do have it on, a, a DVD. The most movies that I like, and I want to watch over and over again, I, I'll buy it definitely on DVD, so I can watch it over and over again. Um, uh, and the, like I said, the one, the one that I have on, on Blu-ray, or, or like the one I could, I would consider my favorite movies of all time, if, if I came up with like my top 100 favorite movies of all time. Okay? Um, and the best thing about this movie, n not whether or not George Day, uh, looked like, uh, Clemmy Jane, or, or did they portray anything that she did in her, in her life, in the movie, no. The best thing about this movie is the music. Okay, like, like, Secret Love, The Dead Wood Day, Harry, I'm planning to marry, and I just blew into the wind, it did it. Okay, um, by the light of the dew, we moon, yeah, a lot of good songs, and, uh, and, and this is the type of movie that you don't want the, you, you don't want the movie to end. But the only way that, that, that to happen is you got to put the movie back in and watch it over. And this, this is a movie that I can watch over and over and enjoy it, okay? Uh, I think it's very underrated. Um, yeah. Um, so, uh, it's my, the probably, the probably, uh, might be my favorite birthday movie. Uh, I think so many times. So, uh, I don't know, so, later down the road, I will, I, I will watch all the Dorothy movies I have in, in a, um, uh, I have in a box set, and I will, I mean, I will decide which one is definitely my favorite Dorothy movie, but, um, yeah, do you feel that this is an underrated, um, uh, movie, and do you think all the other factors that I mentioned, um, that make it movie underrated, like, People talk about pillow talk, or the man who knew too much more than dead, or they talk about the Deadwood show that came out in 2004 more than dead, or or they or when they mention dead, they bad mouth Dorothy, Day, uh, not even looking like, looking like Clammy Jane, and something they did just an okay musical movie with few 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 numbers. In, in my opinion. Uh, everybody, everybody that I talk about this movie with, they love it, okay? Who doesn't like, uh, uh, Clemmy Jane, okay? It's a clap there. Everybody likes Dorothy and Clemmy. And I, and I think even Dorothy, who, uh, 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 I thought, like, in one of the DVD article, I mean, uh, uh, special features, she said that Dorothy, uh, Clemmy Jane was her favorite movie that she made. But she liked it down and all that stuff. Okay. So, if you like Western, then I highly recommend checking uh, Clammy Jane out. If you if you like musical, check Clammy Jane out. Okay. So that's it, and look forward to another video where I I, I talk about another underrated movie. And you to my channel, hit the like button and the crowd. Thank you.